What do you think that's for? That's for bry wood, guys. Obviously, we're in South Africa. The first thing you do, get your bry wood and your beers, and off you go. This has a lot of storage. You've got your DB board here. Obviously, I'll say that. Which is rather good. It's not as modern as it used to be, maybe. Station for Kader. You can just build a whole village out of your trailer. Well, morning guys, welcome to the Pietnamsburg once again. Uh, we keep coming back here somehow. This time we've done it a little bit differently. We've got ourselves an off-road trailer and we rented this one. Uh, you'll see it somewhere. Uh, this one's a little bit bigger than usual and we thought we'd try it out, give it a go, see what everything is inside here. Uh, it's pretty good actually, I've got to say. Obviously I'll say that. But yeah, we've been here for a couple of nights so we're just trying to see how everything works. Let's take a quick tour of inside. Um, this is the kitchen area. Obviously you've got our fridge here. It's an older model, but it's got milk inside it. That's pretty good. Like a little light in there. That slides back in here. Up here we've got another tray. A whole lot of stuff you can put in here, like uh, boxes of tea, all that kind of food stuffs and all that. That's pretty cool, huh? Everything's got a latch, like this. Here we've got everything we need. Uh, this one came supplied with basically all your needs, down to dishwashing stuff. Got all the cups, all your cutlery. That's cool. This is a nice little work area, which is nice. You have your little gas station here. Uh, plain old Kodak 2 Cook 2 Pro, which you've seen us review before. This section basically folds down. This holds your uh, 20, 20 liter tank, but it doubles up as a station for Kedak. In the back here, quite a lot of space. You've got your DB board here. We've been charging on mains for the time we've been here. All the stuff you need there, plugs and stuff to charge everything. Remember here, you've got two chairs. The little gas cooker sits in there. This slides out. And this whole thing comes out as a workstation to do your dishes and all of that stuff, which is cool. But if you don't need that or use that, there's a lot of storage in the back here, which is quite nice. Uh, the door closes here. Swing away, spare wheel, like most of these trailers. But it's got two gas bottles, this one, which is quite nice. So you might have noticed the tent. It comes with an enormous amount of extra zip-on things. We've hidden here. But all of this stuff is part of it. So annexes, a little shower tent. It all zips up here. There's zip things there. This whole thing can enclose. So I think you can make this whole area enclosed, which is quite nice from the rain if that's needed. It's just enormous. All we've done is use the tent, which basically folds out that way. One piece, pretty easy to do. Oh, welcome to our abode. Hope you can see in here it's not too dark. This bed is enormous. Uh, I, I don't know how big it is. At least two by two. Um, this whole thing 
this section folds up so that basically increases your living space on your bed followed by chains so this whole thing opens out to the floor you peg the floor in the four corners and then you push these pie these pieces out here and that tensions your tent so basically it's very easy and very quick to set up if you're just passing through in one night without all the annexes and all that extra stuff which is rather good so the kitchen's on the other side of the tent on this side we have storage a lot of storage this is a black hole in there because I've switched off the lights but you can see plenty of space to put all this stuff here a nice little work tray here as well on this side on the other side of the fridge and you've got three of these drawers which is ideal for storing all your clothing maybe yeah groceries provisions all of that stuff this has a lot of storage so I'm pretty impressed with that and this living area is just fantastic for two people basically it's set up for two people but you can take about four people along with you easily to those of you who have a roof tent this is like the next level it's just very easy to set up the ladder is very comfortable uh, the tent has a lot of volume in it as I said the bed is like enormous I mean you can get three or four people sleeping here if needed two couples with two little kids or that kind of thing and a lot of area here to stand which is a lot more practical than most roof tents with annexes because the annexes on a roof tent are normally tapered in this is like very square very open so there are advantages to taking a trailer also you unhitch and you go game driving and you come back to your camp everything's set up so on the front you got your trailer hitch obviously uh, in here there's a nice little area quite big and in there you've got your tent pegs, you've got your charging cable, all of the electric stuff, you've got a hammer. You've got your little green mat, which they give you as well, which is sometimes very handy, especially with that really fine, dusty sand. So what do you think this part is for here, guys? Yeah, it's Brywood. We're in South Africa. First thing you load in your car, Brywood and beers before you go on holiday. This is also quite a handy area to stand on to open the tent because the tent is quite big and it's, it takes a lot of effort you need two people really because it gets very like this but other than that it's a howling moon which means top of the range everything's there as i said there's so many annexes and stuff in here you can just build a whole village out of your trailer one thing i did forget to mention is just under here under the tent at the back here This is a table. Very big table. And over here we have our numerous tent poles, which we don't know the meaning of which, but. So that's all in there. Uh, everything you need is here, which is cool. Just pack up your provisions, your groceries for the day, and you need your own bedding for the rest hook up and go so there you have it guys uh, I would recommend it first time we've tried this off-road trailer besides our own efforts which is up here uh, it's a pretty very well appointed trailer it's got a lot of space for extra stuff to take along with you especially if you're going away for numerous weeks and you're off grid for quite a while the only thing it doesn't have is a water tank uh, with a little tap so you need to bring your own jerry cans one of the uh, cons I guess instead of the pros bed is super comfortable the mattress is very very nice and I would recommend it so now I'm gonna drink my tea and we're gonna finish packing up
Well, there's the pack-up uh, way to do it, I guess. I'm not sure if we did it correctly, but it's all in there. It's really nice that the tent bag is a little bit bigger than usual, because normally they're so tight, you can hardly get anything in. All the other stuff went in there. The other annexes, ground sheets, all of that stuff. Really cool. And here we have it. Done. The Wildebeest. It's an older model. It's not as modern as it used to be, maybe. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Keep rolling.